We are all, as we should be, flu conscious these days. And a fever is often the first sign of H1N1 or any other flu strain. So it's time to make sure that you have a good thermometer at home. David Gregg is senior editor at BehindTheBuy.com, and he's here with some of the newest and most accurate thermometers around. Good morning, David. Good morning, Maggie. What should we look for in a thermometer? Uh, you've said the first word, which is accuracy. You want something that's fast also, but preferably non-invasive. Okay. And it was funny because, of course, Dave earlier mentioned the, mo the gold standard of taking a child's temperature which is rectally, but yeah. that starts out with uh, the first one right here. We, we had this one when, when our daughter was a baby, and that's what the pediatricians recommend. This is from Vicks. What makes it unique, it does not look like your standard rectal thermometer, which is basically that glass tube that can you know, break or very mm -hmm. delicate. A big concern a lot of parents have also is when they place it, is it going to do go in too far and create or cause any damage or pain? I, obviously, the way this is designed, it can only go in so far and right. gives a very accurate reading also. But if, if you don't want to use a rectal thermometer for your child, what's this one all about? This is exactly exactly what it is. It's a pacifier, but what's unique about this particular pacifier, it's from Tender Tykes, is if you notice right here, it has a little digital readout. So you put this in the, uh, the baby's mouth for about two minutes and you start getting an accurate reading. If the child has a fever, it plays twinkle, twinkle, little oh. star. This, so, so you don't want to hear that lullaby in this case. You do not want to hear that play that, that song. That is genius because the child will not resist something exactly. like this. Again, a so non-invasive way of getting an accurate reading. All right, here's a digital thermometer. How does this one work? We've heard about those uh, thermometers and seen them that you put them in your ear mm -hmm. and gives you a reading infrared. This is uh, called the Mobi Ultra Digital. What this does is not only give you a reading in your ear, but you can actually put it against your forehead if you don't mind. Okay, I'm going to do sure. that. And also, it speaks. Let me put it on there. Let's see how quick this works. Of course, we have to make sure it's on. Oh, that would help, David. Sure. Your body temperature is 98.2 degrees Fahrenheit. There you 98. go. 98.2. No H1N1 okay. going on there. Excellent. Is there a, a place in your body that you get the, the, the best reading? Again, doctors typically say uh, rectally is gives the most accurate for a baby. However, you know, we for can't adults. always have access to adults also orally is another way. But speaking of that, this particular thermometer from Timex, the watch company, they mm -hmm. licensed it out to a company. Let me pull this. It's called the Acrobat. And the reason why it is, is it has a, a, a very flexible tip right here. So when it's placed in the mouth, it doesn't have to stand straight out. That's it hits great. the hot spot. It can be used orally, rectally, and also under the armpit and okay. has an accurate digital reading right here. So this is pretty much the standard that most people are familiar with and feel most comfortable would be orally. That's a good one. Uh, underarm, this is from Homedics, this particular one, and you can see how it's designed here. It actually goes in the underarm, and when it does, it shows you the reading right there. Let's see if we can get that on. Oh, there we go. So, so some, how do you wear it? Like this? Yep, exactly. Axillary, and, and it goes then, right there, oh, and okay. it'll show you what your readout is. Very easy. And these are like the ones they use in the hospital. Exactly, right? and they are pretty much the same exact one. These are from Vix. These are wearable thermometers. You place it under the armpit in a non-haired area, of course, with a child. You leave it in for about two or three minutes to get the first reading, and you can keep it on for 48 hours. To so get a continuous reading Don't for Don't have to wake the, the baby up. Just lift the arm and take oh, a look. I like that one. This is a touchless thermometer. What's unique about this particular one is it sends an infrared beam. It can also be used to basically take the temperature of anything, but you put it on, you get a digital reading, and it speaks out the uh, actual temperature. Okay, and, and this looks Lumisco. like the old school ones that, that, that our moms the old used school. to use. Big concern that a lot of people have, especially everybody's getting green and doesn't want to, they don't want to put uh, different types of contaminants in mercury, the... Mercury, uh, right? Exactly, mercury. This actually uses a, a technology or a special liquid in it that is just as... Uh, accurate as far as reading temperatures. However, no mercury in here, and this particular uh, thermometer from Magnatherm is magnified and also has a very big tip, so when you place it in your so mouth. So these have all been tested. They're all fast, accurate? Fast, accurate, accurate, and with the exception of the rectal ones, non-invasive, and typically you don't have to wake okay. your child to use a lot of these expensive? different thermometers. They run the gamut. Actually, the most expensive one is this one from Lumiscope, and on the average, about 15 to $20, so okay. pretty affordable. And This is usually a purchase that's really not proactive. It's reactive, exactly. so sometimes I even recommend that a person tries two different ones, one thermometer, and then get a backup reading. David Gregg, thanks so much. Sure, Always Maggie. good stuff. For more on these thermometers, just go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.